this video look at all these virtual machines I have. I have Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows ME, Windows 7, Windows 1.01, .01, Windows NT 4.0, Windows 98 Second Edition, and Windows 95. <clears throat> now in this video I'm going to be powering every single one of them up. So let's start with Windows Vista, the worst one. So let's get the worst one out of the way first. And let's do it. So I'm using VirtualBox 6.1 to do all these, um, and it works just fine. So Windows Vista is booting up on VirtualBox. It does take a while, but I mean, it's a virtual machine. What do you expect? We should see the thing here. And... It didn't even ask for a password because I turned it off and it just logged us in. So it didn't even say welcome. So um, I'm the um, so in Windows Vista, I tried Minecraft. It wouldn't work. So what what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna substitute Minecraft for these games. So my favorite game is Inkball, and it is super cool. So boom. Well, they just bounce together. Ah! <laughs> Look at all this. Yes! Epic. Oh, I suck at this, though. So you guys already got a glimpse at Windows Vista to, to show you if you right click and click on personalize. There's no display settings like there is on Windows 10. I'm going to bring my laptop on my bed. Alright, so if we go to desktop background, look at all these, we have, well look at this one. I think for Windows Vista I'll keep this one. Uh, I do have Google Chrome on Windows Vista, and it works just fine. As you can see at the top, it says this computer will no longer receive Google Chrome updates because Windows XP and Windows Vista are no longer supported. And speaking of Windows XP, I do have Windows XP, and we are going to boot into Windows XP right now. So let's shut, shut it down here. Heard a little shut down sound. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but... I did. Max Brighton. Yes, we have Windows XP next. And then after Windows XP, we have Windows ME, strangely, but Windows ME actually does work very well. So, yeah. And the thing I'm going to do when I boot up Windows XP, I think you guys already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up 3D Pinball Space Cadet on Windows XP. It's just the law, pretty much. It's a law that you have to load up 3D. That was a cool boot chime, but you have to load up 3D Pinball Space Kit or whatever it's called. I think it's called that, but now we're in, and I get the beautiful Bliss wallpaper here. And that's actually what it's called. It's called Bliss. And then now we can go to. Where is it? I think it's going to be under games. Where's games at? Not help and support. Oops. Help and support center. No thanks. Search. I need games. All programs. There it is. Pinball. This is what you guys probably wanted to see. Now I don't I don't actually know how to play the game. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to play. You do the arrow keys, I guess not. What what key do you press? You press the space bar? I don't know what to press. I suck at this game. We also do have Internet Explorer, so if we right click and open You'll see, Internet Explorer is not your default browser, of course not. Say there's stuff I don't care about on the trending page. That's not new. 
All right, now we also do have Google Chrome. I have Firefox right here, but uh, Google Chrome is right here, and it works just fine. And it also says the same thing about the computer will no, no longer receive Chrome updates because Windows XP is under the computer and will no longer support it. Chrome is your default browser. I'm going to set it as default browser. And when you set it as default, it doesn't go to settings and all that stuff like Windows 10 does. It just sets it as your default browser here. I'm just going to change my background of this here. So if we go to desktop, then I'm going to change it to, I'll change it to Ascend. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with this. So we're going to shut it down, and we're going to go to Windows ME now. So when you shut it down, do you see how the back, see everything in the background becomes black and white? And if you click cancel, it becomes color again. So that's kind of cool. So I'm just going to hit turn off. It doesn't say shut down. It just says turn off, which is kind of weird. So now it says Windows is shutting down. And by the way, that was Windows XP Professional, and this is Windows Vista and Premium. Now we're going to go into Windows ME, or Windows Millennium Edition. It's probably the worst version of Windows in the world. It's probably even worse than Windows Vista. It is so buggy. Like, so buggy. But it's Windows Me 40, so. You just saw the Windows Me boot screen. And now we're going to be entering be entering in a password. I don't have one, so I'm going to click OK. And we should. Where's everything at? Where, where is everything? You know, I'm just going to hit reset. Because it is not logging in. So I'm going to reset Windows Me. It's never done that before where I just log in and it just doesn't show anything. That's never happened before to me. Oh, it's oh, it's scanning. I remember this because Windows ME, this is a perfect time to show it. Windows ME is so buggy that it scans every time. Well, not every time, but most of the time you beat up your computer. I've never had that happen. Now we boot up. And, oh, look at that flower. Oh, it just came into view, like, really weird. It was, like, rolling up. It was so weird. Um, why does this flower look so weird? It looks, like, blown out. I'll try to find a better wallpaper for it. Let's go ahead and stretch. Oh, man, are all these wallpapers going to look, like, blown out? They are. Like, that one's blown out. That's blown out. Like, look at these. Like, if I hit apply. Look at what this looks like. This looks, like, blown out. Like, you see that? Like, look how bad the image looks. But I guess I'll keep it. So, yeah. Um, this is Windows Me. I'm going to try to go to Internet Explorer. I think this is Internet Explorer 7. Welcome to MSN Internet Act. Uh, it's asking me for a modem, but I have a wireless network. I believe since Windows Me is so old that they won't let you connect to, like, an actual network. So, Windows Me is boring, but... Well, that's kind of cool how everything just pops out here. I'm gonna hit shut down. And shut down. Alright. Next we have is Windows 7. This is Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. It is activated. I tried to load Minecraft on this, but it says OpenGL won't work. I also tried to load Minecraft on Vista, and it said OpenGL wasn't supported as well. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. So we're going to load up Windows 7. Starting Windows. Uh, I love that like load up screen. It's so epic. Like It looks so great. I love it. So this doesn't take too long. A laptop's back in the day, this would take like a minute, I believe, but since we're running a virtual machine, I can allocate more RAM to it. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, so it says starting Windows, we're getting nowhere. <laughs> I'm just really impatient, I just want it to load. I think it's going to load eventually, so I'm just going to reset. Oh, there it is. Now we're in. As you can see at the bottom, it says Windows 7 Ultimate, and we are in. Um, look at Windows 7 in all of its beautiful glory.
Man. I want to show you how long it takes to load up Google Chrome on Windows 7, because this is the slowest load ever. So, of course, we're on Windows 7. I think I want to change the wallpaper, because this Windows is getting kind of boring here. Okay, desktop background. Oh, you're so slow. There we go. That'll do. That's pretty good. Alright, now we can show you how long Google Chrome takes to open. So this is actually the newest operating system I have installed on my uh, virtual machine. So it's going to be the slowest. Because the, the newer they are, the slower they are. Because um, right, we're loading up Google Chrome. It takes a long time to load Chrome. I clicked on it again. Jeez. I can open other stuff like File Explorer and stuff, but nothing is wanting to open it. Oh my gosh, I'm opening so much things on Windows 7. Oh my gosh, the Google Chromes have loaded. Actually, no, only all these stupid programs have. Okay, this is enough for Windows 7 now. Let's power off the virtual machine. Next, yes, you guys, look at look, look at what I'm look, look at what I'm about to start up now, guys. Windows 1.01, and AKA I mean, this is the first version of Windows, and I have it on this computer, and this is probably the most interesting one. Look at this boot up. This is like a record boot time. Like, that, that, that's it. That was so fast. So this is it. Yeah, this is Windows 1.01. I mean, who, who clicks on the clock to have this big clock just in front of you? What is this? It shows like a clock at the bottom. Oh, you guys can, guys, even in Windows 1.01, you can multitask. You see, I have a clock down here, and I'm doing like a, whatever, a terminal up here. I can't type on it, though. I'm trying. That's not what I need to type. Alright, let's close this. And by the way, to close it, you don't just click it once, because if you click it once, this is what happens. That's what happens. Okay. So to do it, you hold it down and then you move your mouse and then you let go on the thing you want to do. So close. And then I'm going to end this Windows now. And let's power it off. Next, I, I have Windows NT 4.0. This is probably the hardest one to like boot up. Actually, I think Windows 95 is a bit harder to boot up. But by boot up, I mean you have to go through so much steps to get this actually running. So, we're going to load up Windows NT Workstation version 4.00, so let's enter that. And then now it's OS Loader. And I know this looks like the blue screen of death, but this is actually just how it boots up. This is completely normal. Give it a minute. Alright, now you'll see this, and then it says something failed to load, just click OK. And it says press Control alt delete to log on. So, on my Mac, I don't have Control alt delete The substitute I made for it is Command-W, and then it will let you log on. So, I'm going to enter in my super secret password, which is just three things, three letters. And now we're in Windows NT Workstation 4.0 with Microsoft Internet Explorer. So I'm going to click on start, and it doesn't pop out like Windows ME did, but frankly that's that's okay, because I don't really care about that. Like, who did? I mean, Windows ME was a failed operating system. And on this one, they have the worst wallpapers. Like, look at that. Wait, that's still there. What is this? What is this thing? Pattern. You know what? Properties. 
none. And the pattern is going to be none. So it's just going to be a blank canvas here. And frankly, I think that's the best wallpaper here. So I'm going to shut this down. Okay, and I'm going to shut it down. And I'm going to save Windows 95 and Windows 98 Second Edition for a new video because those are the coolest ones for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm going to save these two here for a part two and hopefully I'll make more virtual machines. So smash a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.